I'm Julia from Julia Teaching Resources and this video I'm going to talk, be talking to you all things about dynamics and expressive techniques. Now if you have studied the elements of music and you're watching this and you're probably going why on earth is she talking about expressive techniques? Well in the HSC um, syllabus that I teach it's actually grouped under one thing so it's dynamics and expressive techniques. The way I like to think about it is all those Italian terms that's essentially what it is. All those lovely Italian terms that you um, might know or you should know, that's where it comes under. So it's both dynamics and expressive techniques. So I'm going to share my screen and we'll get this all started for you. So let's do this. Go there. And slideshow, come on. So I'm beginning. So I'm talking about all things mastering the concepts of music at the moment. Um, if you've been watching the series or if you're watching this the replay, it's all about this, the, the little things that you need to worry about and talk about in if you're discussing or writing about music or if you're doing a Viva Voce, all those sorts of things. And as I said, this video is, is focusing straight on dynamics and expressive techniques. And there's six things you need to remember when you're actually doing dynamics and expressive techniques. So let's get started. So welcome. Um, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're watching. Uh, I'm going to talk about what are the six concepts in music and I'll give a brief explanation about each of those but you'll be able to see if you're watching this on YouTube that you'll be able to see that there are stacks of videos on all of the concepts in music that are, are I, sorry I am explaining them to you. Uh, so please this might be not be the first one. You, this might be the sixth one you're actually watching but they're all there on in YouTube explaining all these in more detail. And then I'm going to go obviously into the six simple steps that you need to master dynamics and expressive techniques in music. So the six concepts of music are in alphabetical order, duration, dynamics and expressive techniques, which is what we're focusing on tonight, pitch, structure, texture, and tone color. Now, for me, duration, is how long or short a sound is. You might know it as rhythm, okay, and it sort of comes under that same sort of banner, alrighty. Um, dynamics and expressive techniques, as I said, in the elements of music, most people just talk about actual dynamics, okay, as a separate little thingy. Um, but dynamics refers to how loud or soft the music is. And don't forget we're coming from a listening point of view, not from a performance point of view. We're coming from it when we're actually listening to it at the moment. Expressive techniques refers to the articulation and unique sound production, production method um, of an actual instrument. So what techniques are they using to make the sound, which comes a little bit under tone color as well. Lots of crossover. Pitch refers to how high or low a pitched note is. Now for me, pitch come, has three things underneath it. Melody, okay, tonality and harmony all come under pitch for me, even though I talk about pitch in a, very, in a slightly different way. Structure is the order and arrangement of the parts of a piece of music. You might call it musical form. Texture is still how thick or thin. Again, I know I've got that typo there. Sparse or dense the layers of sound are in a piece of music and their relationship to each other. And tone color, you might refer to it as timbre, but tone color is the instruments used in a piece of music. It also might come under another heading of uh, performing media. Okay, so you might think of it that way as well. So, so let's take a bit of a look at the dynamics and expressive techniques. So dynamics simply means the loudness or softness of sound. Now we know all the Italian terms which this video is not going into, but when you're talking about um, dynamics, okay, the six things you need to know, this is what we need to worry about. So dynamics simply means the loudness or softness of sound, and I'll get more into other things in a minute. Whereas the definition for expressive techniques is the text techniques used on an instrument or voice to create a different and interesting sounds. Okay, so if you think about the violin just there, there are multiple techniques that can be used to produce um, a sound on the violin, whether they're actually bowing, arco, they're picking, pizzicato, or if they're double stopping, two strings or triple stopping, three strings. Okay, are they doing a glissando? Are they doing a slide? Are they? What are they doing? There's lots and lots of different techniques. So if you want to grab a freebie, which I'll be showing you some things that come out of this freebie tonight, or in this video, I should say, it's the Music Analysis and 
analysis and writing about music freebie. And I'm going to show you a couple of free resources that are in there. But if you want to grab it, you can get it anytime. It's at juliajulia.teachable.com. And now if you go there on the front, on that first page at juliajulia.teachable.com, you'll see Master the Concepts of Music. Now I'm going to leave that as a freebie all the time. So it's always there for anyone that actually wants to go and grab it. Okay. But it's called Master the Concepts of Music. Now, in that freebie, you will find all sorts of things, but this is one of them. Now, this is the A, what you can see on the screen. This is it printed out as A4 size. And you can see these are the things we're going to talk about when we're doing a dynamics and expressive techniques question. And I'll talk about those shortly. But these posters, that poster, you can just do it multiple ways. So that was A4 size. A3, if you print it bigger, it makes a fantastic poster in the classroom. A4 is still a really good size in the, in the classroom, depending on what um, sort of space you have. A5, which is this size, which is half the size. Okay, that's a perfect size for going in an exercise book. And if you print it even smaller, okay, you can get it into something. I thought I had the other little one, but I don't. Okay, anyway, but you can get it into this um, thing, which I like to print them smaller and use these for actual um, uh, manipulative for the kids in the classroom. And it has, it's exactly the same thing. It is just printed smaller. So this is actually printed for to a page that's at normal page, and this is essentially two to a page, okay? Um, so that's A4, A3, A5, and A6. That's the A6 size, okay? So you can obviously print it A4 as well, which is what it comes in the document, okay? But these are perfect for, to actually use as lots of different ways. As you can see from one little, one little page, you can use it in multiple ways. Now, this is my other favorite thing to use is the Dynamics and Expressive Techniques actual um, mind map. Now, this, all these things here, I'm going to be talking about each of those points. Now, you can also see these in other things, which I will show later soon. But again, this is A4 size. And here is when I've printed it at A6 size on the small, that's four to a page. And that fits perfectly on the back of, sorry, that's duration. I meant to say, show you dynamics and expressive techniques. There it is. Okay, there. And it's on, I've just got it on the back of the um, dynamics and expressive techniques there. Just a really good little manipulative for the kids, okay? So again, you can print it A3 size and use it for different activities or for a poster or print it A5, which is two to a page and you get it again, perfect size for the books and doing lots of different activities. Um, use them for individual work or for group work. Again, I keep saying this, but I like to print it A4 in the middle of an A3 page and do it as a group activity. And they write around that, that that's, that gives them enough space to write around as a group. And then they go off and do their own individual responses after they've done a group one first. So again, different ways you can use the actual um, freebie, the mind map there uh, as a listening planning map, which I've literally just done with a, my year 12 class and my year um, nine and 10 classes are doing it as using these as composition planning maps, also for a performance planning map. So, you know, if you're getting kids to, prepare to prepare a performance how are they using the concepts in music connect it to what they're doing okay so what dynamics are you using what expressive techniques are you using all those sorts of things it's really good to to cement what the concepts of music are in what they're actually playing now this particular page is not in the freebie it's not but you can purchase it in over on my teachers pay teachers store and it is the concepts of music mind maps you'll find that there's also a an elements of music mind maps if you teach that but the elements of music is a slightly different one to what's in the concepts of music only because they're broken into different things okay same stuff different banner basically but you can see here this is the things that we are talking about and they're actually just all colored in and this is just the little bubbles without all the information on it, okay? But this is why this is great, because this, if you're watching the video, you pause the video, you complete this part, okay? And you've got all the information that you need anyway. And this is what I love about them. They they directly marry up to each other, okay? And I've deliberately done that because there's different things for different kids. Some kids prefer the mind map, some kids prefer the poster, I don't mind which way they get the information as long as it gets in their little brains, okay, that they get the information that they need. So I said, I like to have multiple different ways for kids to actually um, use the information because something will click and something will work, okay? But the things you need to talk about if you're doing a dynamics and expressive technique question, the six things you need are dynamics, identify the instruments, 
range role register of those instruments, expressive techniques, what are those instruments performing? Are there any changes? So it could be changes in technique, could be changes in um, tempo, could be changes in um, dynamics, okay? And what is the tempo? So all those things are essentially all those lovely Italian terms, okay? As said, I talked about in the, very, in the beginning of this video. So I'll just go into each one separately now. So I've already talked about dynamics, but dynamics simply refers to the loudness or softness of sound. So it's all those terms, piano, mezzo piano, mezzo forte, forte, fortissimo, pianissimo, um, crescendos, decrescendos, diminuendos, all those sorts of things are all dynamics, okay? Swart sandos, all those sorts of things, um, so be, like, all that, all dynamics, okay? How are they being used? Um, and what are, are they actually in the piece? And you'll find that if you're getting a dynamics or expressive techniques question, there should be some sort of changes. There should be, it, it'd be very rare that the dynamics stay at the one level all the way through, okay? So um, usually there will be some sort of change. Identify the instruments. Again, we're just listening to the music and identifying the instruments and listing them as you hear them, um, because then you can go back and after you've identified them, you can then start attaching techniques, expressive techniques to an instrument. So is the flute using um, a more of a legato or is it um, the uh, clarinet in that little ensemble? It might be playing staccato, I don't know. The double bass, I mean, they've both, and the violin have both got a bow in their hands, but at some time are they actually doing pizzicato? Okay, what are they doing? So you need to identify the instruments so then you can talk about the expressive techniques. This is icing on the cake, I say, range roll register. I know I put it in a lot of things, but it usually, if, if kids can get this, this is something that they can usually do very easily. And again, it helps to cement different things. But range simply refers to the distance between the lowest and highest note performed by an instrument. So on the piano, the potential is to have a very extensive range. However, they might only be playing a narrow range or within an, within an octave. Okay, whereas if you're talking about um, a glockenspiel and you're going to get one of those little diatonic type ones, the, again, the range may not be very much because there's only potential for maybe 10 different notes. Okay, um, depends on the instrument. Register refers to the height of the notes performed by an instrument, treble or bass. And the way I like to think about it is when you're sitting at the piano, middle C, anything to the right, is um, obviously in the treble, anything to the left is in the bass, and um, you just have to think high, low, okay? But then you've also got upper treble, mid treble, low treble, upper bass, mid bass, low bass, okay? And what are they playing? And, you know, don't get tripped up, um, like you've got the little piccolo sitting there. It's not going to be playing in the bass register. Know your instruments so that you know what the register of the instruments are, okay? And the role, the role an instrument performs in a piece of music. So they might perform the me melody, it might be performing the beat, it might be, be performing a bass line or rhythmic accompaniment or melodic accompaniment. What role are they playing in the actual piece? It might change, the role might change between instruments. And expressive techniques. Again, these are all those lovely Italian terms. So techniques used on an instrument or voice to create different and interesting sounds. So I already talked earlier in this video about the um, violin and the different techniques there, but you need to know those techniques for all the instruments. Okay, what are they? So for a voice, it could be use of vibrato, it could be use of melisma, it could be use of staccato, legato, slides, bending, okay, um, scat, all those sorts of things. That's the sort of expressive techniques for the voice. There's more. I'm only doing a very limited one there. For the, um, try to think of another instrument. Um, sorry, my, my, my mind's gone blank. <laughs> but what, what sort of expressive techniques do, does your instrument play? What do you play? What do you actually know? And think about how maybe there's some crossover, okay, between, especially on string instruments, between a guitar and a violin. You know, may not be using a bow on a guitar, but there are certainly lots of techniques that do cross over. So think about what expressive techniques there are. Now changes. Now there are two main changes in crescendo itself. Sorry, sorry, in dynamics itself. So we got crescendos and a decrescendo. So a crescendo is when you, the music gets louder and a decrescendo or diminuendo is when is the opposite when the music becomes gradually softer. Now changes don't only include 
dynamics. It can be changes in techniques. It can be changes in tempo. It could be changes in any, any way, shape or form. Okay, so what sort of changes are happening in the music? Again, if you're getting this sort of question, there should be lots of changes happening so that you can actually talk. There's enough to discuss in your response. And tempo simply means the speed of the music, okay? Now, this is a nice, quick, easy one that you can shove in there if you've got something. So you can, um, if you can use the Italian terms, it's even better, all right? We're talking andantes, allegro, adagio, largo, um, allegretto, vivace, prestissimo, all those sorts of terms. Again, your Italian terms. But what is the tempo of the music? Does the music change tempo? Is there an, accel an accelerando? Is there a tempo where it goes fast or slow? fast, slow, returning to the original speed. Um, is there a use of a rallentando, okay, or ritenuto, ritendando, same thing where it's slowing down, okay? So tempo comes into all those things, and that's why I put it into um, dynamics and expressive techniques, because direct dynamics, identify, range roll, register, expressive techniques, and tempo comes all in underneath those things. So again, just to recap, if you are doing a dynamics and expressive techniques question. The six things you need to remember are direct. And that's, it spells dynamics, identify, range roll register, expressive technique, changes and tempo. So the main thing you need to make sure that you are getting are dynamics. Okay, you need to identify your instruments so then you can talk about the, um, the expressive techniques and then talking about changes in tempo. And if you can do range roll register in there, it's even better. Um, it's just, just see how you go. You, sometimes you don't always get there to do that. So in the freebie that you, um, if you haven't got, got it already, go and make sure you grab yourself um, a copy. Okay. You'll get concepts for uh, posters for each of the concepts of music as well as mind maps for each of the concepts. Now there's a couple of bonuses as well. So there's not only the actual concepts of music. I'm also giving you um, an other questions type um, mind map and uh, poster, as well as the music one, as well as um, the um, the concepts of music as, as they are, like just straight concepts of music. So like I showed in the beginning, it's just a black and white version that you would need to color in like these ones okay so that's what you get actually in the freebie so it's all those things so what you can see there plus all the mind maps and you can see here that with the dynamics and expressive techniques you get them um, those different things so you can see three different sizes that i've printed there of the actual poster and two different sizes that i've printed there of the actual mind map which is really handy as i said there's so many different ways it can be used it's a really good planning tool for lots of different things so don't forget, if you'd like to get yourself that freebie, go to juliajulia.teachable.com and you'll find Master the Concepts of Music there. Okay, so if you'd seriously, if you just type in juliajulia.teachable.com, you, it will take you there and you will find Master the Concepts. There's also some other courses that will be available um, soon. Uh, depending on when you're watching this, they might already be um, available for you to purchase. You can also find plenty of stacks, stacks and stacks and stacks of classroom resources ready for you to use in my Teachers Pay Teachers store. You can use the link in the description below, um, or if you want to just search it, um, do your teaching resources on Teachers Pay Teachers. Again, you'll find I've got about 600 plus um, resources there for you to use. And you can find lots more on dynamics or expressive techniques on my blog, juliajulia.com. And again, lots of fantastic free information, all explaining this, um, all those concepts and all those little, um, uh, what do you call it? These things in more detail, or it's actually on my blog for free. Go have a sticky beak. There's no reason for you not to have access to this great information. And that is all from me. And I'm going to stop share. And say so thank you so much for watching. As so we were just talking about dynamics and expressive techniques, and the six things you need are direct dynamics, identify, range roll, range roll register, expressive techniques, changes, and tempo. And if you do those six things, or at least four of them, okay, in a question, you're going to be doing really, really well. But it's, remember, learn your Italian terms. You've got to know those Italian terms to be able to actually do this um, question, type of question really, really well. Until next time, I'm Julia from Julia Teaching Resources, and thank you so much for watching. Bye.